cube. Sometimes, sometimes your deck can be absurd and you still lose to the turn one channel. I mean, we had Force of Will, so that was even like less likely than usual, but he <laughs> still got rocked. Mono Red makes you gag, does it? It's unfortunate. Yeah, Captain Altitude, or or a better draw, right? You're like there's deck quality, and then there's like draw quality, and sometimes sometimes even in Vintage Cube, like matchups matter. Like we had a really good channel deck the other two the other day that ended up going one and two because we kept on facing mono, mono red, and we had a bunch of tutors to go find like channel blight steel. But like if you have to have a demonic tutor for channel, and you're on the draw, all of a sudden like <laughs> you don't actually have the life. <laughs> you don't actually have the life to cast your shit. I'm not going to second pick Jackal Pup. Let's take this uh, Porcelain Legionnaire. It's a pretty good card. Definitely a better card than Mystic Confluence or Fractured Identity, right? Definitely the best card in the pack here. Yeah, we're not drafting for a step. We're just drafting the best card out of every, ever, out of every pack. What's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what if Mono Red's not open? <laughs> yeah, I accidentally filled up this uh, <laughs> this draft pod with seven other mono red drafters. How the mana drain time walk deck do? It went two and one. A sad two and one. Switch to Bolas again. We did 3 0 the last time we drafted Mono Red, but we had a library, and library did a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, King. That's what I'm worried about. Is it like no red cards are wheeling from this so far? We might get that Jackal Puck back. That'll be exciting, right? Pretty exciting. Is mono white better? I don't know. Probably depends on what your power cards are. Walking back to Georgia, and I hope she will take me back. Yeah, if Jackal Pup doesn't wheel, we're, we're in for a rough time. We're in for a real rough time. I'll have to char. I'm not above it. And if she's still around, I'm gonna settle down without a hard loving Georgia girl. Close pack one, pick one, sulfuric vortex. Oh man, now we can play time walk. A wise choice. Oh, commercial's going. I'm gonna go get some water. It's a good time. Pardon the yawn. Dark Dank Dweller is pretty good with char. I just want more burn, though, with this start. Krakus, uh, sideboard for reanimator. You like my shirt? Oh. <laughs> This nonsense, like Kitty attacking a bunch of buildings shirts. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a few of these little kittens raising havoc. Well, speaking of which, speaking of uh, monsters, is anyone excited about the new, uh, the new Godzilla movie coming out in like a week or two? Kind of soonish, right? The shirt would look better on your floor. Wow. You can't wait? Yeah, I can't wait either. Friday, have to take Tori opening night. Have to, have to. That's a that's sweet. <laughs> hey, last pick Bane Fire. I don't hate it. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, the only uh, the only Godzilla movie I've ever seen actually was the uh, the original. I watched the first one. Does not uh, does not hold up super well. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's kind of funny. There's a there's a scene where like the mad scientist like electroshocks uh, a tank with like some goldfishes in it, and then it's got these like comical uh, like fish skeletons floating around. Anyway. It's clear there's no water in the tank. It's fantastic. Godzilla's like just very obviously a guy in a rubber suit and like tripping over himself. Anyway, this is the Stagzilla request. The one with Matthew McConaughey? No, no, no. It's like a black and white. An old fucking movie. This car and wheel? I, I guess, but like, do I want any of this other shit? Maybe Reveler? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, I like strip mine in the stack. Best burn, d- burn spell ever printed right here. Jackalpup wheeled. That Swift Spear's got a wheel, right? Like these city blocks, these blockbusters and these parking lots. I almost want that ancient tomb in here. For the same reason I wanted that strip mine. Yeah, we can wheel a shrine, right? Tomb's kind of awkward with sulfuric vortex, but maybe let's do turn three of Chandra or some shit. Light up the stage would also be decent. Yeah, that'd be a decent wheel. Did I get red like 40s resub? I do appreciate that. You like shrine? Yeah, I was just thinking they would probably wheel is all. Ancient turn tomb into turn one shrine is a little tempting. There's some cards in this uh in this cube that can really take advantage of ancient tomb and mono red. Rabble Master. Five minute dragons, that sort of thing. You think light up the stage is more likely to wheel than shrine? I, I think they both would. I think we would take the ancient tomb and wheel both. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, how the drafts been tonight? They've been pretty decent. I might be biased though. We're a little light on one drops. I think we're taking figure over Hazard. I do like me some Hazard though. Turn one figure. Turn two. Level up figure. Strip mine. Use reasonable opening. Siege Gang's a cyborg card in mono red. If you don't want to cast it, if you don't, if you don't want to play it, you're not boarding it in. It's one of those cyborg cards that you don't board in. They might have a word for those. Oh, that's true, Captain Altitude. If we don't take has, then we can then we can take a library. Is that non bow is that non bow is completely untenable? You can't win with both in your deck. Oh, that's a bug, uh, Dicker Treat. If you, uh, I think if you, like, close or open it again, or, like, you might have to restart Moto to get rid of the extra copy of Quagmire. It's because you were clicking on Quagmire, like, as the draft was ending. Do we make the Crocus? I don't think so. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Ethic thighs. Thanks for the resub. Thanks for the two months. Oh man, we got a combo. Cyborg combo. Board and show and tell progenitus. That's 
That's how we'll beat the model red mirror. It's more important than those two. Well, maybe I can live the dream of turn one Shrine of Burning Rage. This Max Pearl is going to help with the Legionnaire Splash. Pretty important. Tinker for Shrine of Burning Rage. That'd be delightful. So this deck has a little bit less power than I usually like. I'm not talking about like literal power either. Library would have worked. <laughs> Got some good ones though. Koth versus Thunder Maw. I think we'd rather have Koth. Thunder Maw is pretty filthy though. Actually, let's wheel the Koth. Let's take Thunder Maw here. Not Winter Arm? Nah, Winter Arm sucks. So I'm a big fan of Inferno Titan. I'm not sure if I like Inferno Titan here. It's worth thinking about. The old Jackal Pup, Omat Courier, Inferno Titan deck. If we weren't taking Inferno Titan, we'd be taking Bloodstained Mire just for the Grim Lava Mancer. We wouldn't be taking the Mire for Rick's Mod. We'd be t just taking it for, for for the Lava Mancer. We wouldn't play a Swamp or anything. I'm going to take the Inferno Titan. There's a chance that Steamkin just, like, ramps us, you know? It's close to a Seeding Song deck. We've got Thunder Maw and Inferno Titan. If we wanted to play Siege Gang Commander, it'd be a pretty reasonable Seeding Song deck, actually. Hey, Matthew. Thanks for the five bucks. Let's play your, let's play your song request. Let's play it right now. Some good ones here. I like Conscripts. I like Blista and I like Eidolon. I think we just take the Eidolon, but. Sometimes in Vintage Cube, it just deals you more damage than it deals the opponent. Conscripts is sometimes like a bucket of damage. The opponent's like natural ordering or. Or show and telling or whatever. Idle on wheels. Um, it would be the last card. It's not really something you can depend on. With the Mox Pearl and the Strip Mine, I don't think I may neck the Crocus. Because uh, we we've got, like, Eidolon in here. Or if we ever, like, Old Koth and, like, can't ping out our opponent. Because Crocus, then we feel silly. It's a good sideboard card, though. So we could do this with 16. 
we could play the Thunder Mom with 16 too. Thunder Mom might be just, just be better than Banefire. Or like Reveler. Maybe they don't want this card. It's a little underpowered. Yeah, I still think it could be a decent seeding song list. Um, Koth and Chandra can both ramp Inferno Titan as well, so there's some redundancy there. What's the Mire for? The Mire is there for Love Amancer. I sound the oath to sit. I could play Needle Spires, that's correct. Do you think it's worth it? I mean, a tapped land. Needle Spires is pretty good. If you want to put a sweeper, we could just like activate. Play the Needle Spires and the Crocus. You like it as a 17th land? I do not. I'm not sure if we can go uh, turn to Legionnaire or Stinky in here. They gave us Jim Palm Incinerator. Do I think that'd be enough for a Vile Goblin list in Modern? They gave us an improved Jim Palm Incinerator that actually works better with Vile than an Incinerator does. There's a red black 1-1 uh, one, one. does something real similar. But it counts itself, so I think it's better. Hey, 21 Sewer. Thanks for the 200 bits. Could I choose between my butthole and my bear? Hmm. Good question. Well, without my butthole, I'd have a hard time pooping. So I think I'm kind of priced into it. Although the, the bear could tear me a new butthole. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad I drafted that Eidolon now, even though we are. Maybe they're just playing a value card here. Yeah, that's a Doom Whisperer. Where's that Zealous Conscript I passed, right? So I don't think I have Vortex here, because I don't think I am winning the race. Any of the new cards, this cube tickling my fancy. Uh, kind of. I think uh, I think the new Vivian's a real bust. If you're ever not sure which one that you played for on your turn for like Koth, because Koth cares about summoning sickness, uh, right click on them and then the blue one will say newly controlled here. Or the summoning sick one will say newly controlled. Koth is like a life gain spell. It is kind of like that. Next turn, uh, if they both resolve, FTK plus Firebolt could answer Doom Whisperer. Yeah, I haven't seen Wilderness Reclamation pop off yet, but I have had it play out okay. Hey, Dr. God Carl. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 26 months. Dr. God says, how's it going tonight? I'm getting over a cold, but life is spectacular. <laughs> life is spectacular. Only down from here. Well, that's a, that's a dark way to look at it, I suppose. I think I'm going to firebolt my opponent's face. Because we are kind of running out of time. Assuming they have no removal, a PNLR Thopter Chump could hypothetically let me live for another turn and we're also in a spot where thunder mom might give me lethal
Demon does trample. What's our life total? Walk it back. What's the life total currently? Should I strip? If I want to lose to days, I should strip. We would beat a five mana counter though, like Mystic Confluence. The Mystic Confluence would be pretty good just bouncing stuff. Yeah, I don't think we strip. We also might need that mana more than our opponent. Gushing in response. Response would have killed Confluence. Confluence makes them take damage, though. I'm not going to strip the confluence. I'm going to strip their black leave on their upkeep. Because casting Sulfuric Vortex on my next turn should be very similar to flashing back Firebolt anyway. Hey, Dr. Guide Carl. Thanks for the five bucks. They say they just had a little at-home movie date with their li life, watched Your Name Again, continues to impress. Here's music from it. Your Name. Is that that animated movie? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard really good things about that movie. It's on my list. It's on my list. All right, maybe they have a burn spell for me. Or maybe they just realize that they're dead regardless. Light up the stage? Oh, wow. What'd they exile? Lotus Bloom Tar Pit. Well, we got there. A lot of red fucking gets there. Not even close. It was a little close. A little close. You like that game because both sides have been equally dead all game? Yeah, right? Jeez. You like Magus? We could cut um, FTK for Magus. We literally, we literally only saw the one creature, right? Turn three Doom Whisperer. Yeah, it wasn't just turn three Dis Doom Whisperer. It was turn two Mana Leak into turn three Doom Whisperer. You don't like Eidolon? They're playing Dark Ritual, Lotus Bloom. It's a really good Eidolon matchup. If you don't like Eidolon here, you don't like it anywhere. That's <laughs> that's all I'm saying. What movie? Uh, they were talking about Your Name. Ooh. That animated movie I've heard nothing but good things about. It's, uh, it's a lot of people's favorite movie. I'm going to lead off on Shrine here. Then turn to uh, Double One Drop. Why plateau over a basic? Uh, we have the the three one first strike. Might save us a life. All right, here's the Doctor Guide Carl request. I think it's a bit overrated. I mean, when some people when it's some people's favorite movie. It's pretty easy for, to, like, find it overrated, right?
Swift Spear first, why? Why not Petro Plateau? Because we have a Mox Pearl in play already. We're not a Boros deck. Brutal. When you play Moto, you don't ever have the delay when casting spells that you see on stream. Um, sometimes that's from uh, just like me playing a while. We might also have different settings. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, fuck me, I guess. I have to try that conscripts, right? Man, you know what card's fucking me up this game? Fucking Soul Ring, man. Hey, Averzion, thanks for the resub, thanks for 12 months. Averzion says, I year already. Already indeed. Yeah, Soul Ring's good. The Sweltering Sun's killing three cards was also really good, right? With the Exile here, Swamp Fire Ice. All right, so they're just gonna ice something, draw a card. You think Shrine is slow? Shrine was already at four. We played Shrine on turn one. It was already at four. Then we played Char, it would've been at five. Draw seven, it would've been six. This is this next turn after? It would have been seven. Firebolt them. It's at eight. Trying would have been worth eight damage at least this game. I do not think it would have been too slow. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Brutal if they have a counter for the firebolts. Almost not working, worth attacking with a thunder bomb. See what I mean now if they have a counter for the firebolt. Surveil to in response is a really good sign. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real fucking good sign. Yeah, good song is good. They probably countered the cough. They probably do. But not necessarily, right? Depending on what the rest of their hand is. Wait, they're like... Well, I can just use this card to answer the Thunder Maw and then attack and kill the cost. Not a big deal. Drop 
Man, the Muffin's got the resub the five months in a row. Appreciate that, Muffin. For, for sure, JRC. It's a sweet song. is in the graveyard, but they could have like a weird reanimation spell for it to win this turn. Like Shallow Grave, or I guess Shallow Grave wouldn't do it, but like Romancy or some shit. Doesn't quite do it, does it? Doesn't quite do it. Gildy wins. Nice. It's good to be thanked. Probably not doing turn one Daredevil. We could. And then turn two Swift Spirit Incinerate. It's not really much more damage than turn one Swift Spirit Pearl. And there's a chance we get rewarded for waiting. Is this Mongolian? Uh. I don't know. Can we seize them back? We cannot. Thoughtseize is a demon in our colors. I don't know why people are asking about Thoughtseize. They were mono red over here, folks. I don't know. Is this a playlist right now? Yeah, this is my folk playlist. Hajigulashi thinks the five bucks. Yeah, we do have a request in the queue then. Do Thoughtseize them with Daredevil? No, they took Thoughtseize with they took the Daredevil with Thoughtseize. Silly chat. It's like I'm the only one paying attention here. Can I thought seize their daredevil? No, dude, get, folks. Again, again, we're uh, we're mono red. We don't we don't have thought seize in our deck. All right, what does uh, what does Hodge want to listen to? <laughs> yeah, right, Angoth. Oh boy. Can 
Can I swap decks with the opponent? Why would I? <laughs> We're murdering them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got two songs playing. I'm going to restart this one in a second. I thought I paused this. I must have unpaused it on accident. Now I've got like four songs playing. I've used YouTube before, I swear. I swear. All right. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so they're in a spot where they need, like, need to answer my fire confluence in hand and they need to answer my board. It seems difficult. Yeah, Dingo Dante, exactly. So they showed me they had access to basics with Economist Reach, but they also went like triple non basic out of the opener. Kind of like the Magus. Not sure what over. Maybe Banefire, maybe PNLR. Same spot on the curve. <laughs> oh yeah, Angoff. Have I been have I been a little too terse? Pixers, thanks for the resub, thanks for the two months. Insistent on explaining it. Well, you need to, I mean, you can't just lead people in the dark, I don't think. If people don't understand what the game state is. Maybe you can. Maybe you can just ignore them. Well, there's like a lot of people that don't understand. Like, a lot of people did not understand why I could not crack the fetch with that Ashiok in play. I don't think I can just leave everybody in the dark there. I think they're I think they're holding up removal for end of turn. I think they're just gonna float and kill the Magus. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Just played Eidolon, I guess. This way we get to go Eidolon plus Legionnaire next turn. You don't understand why Caleb would turn down free advice. I guess I'm I guess I'm just a scrub a dub. Let's play more of this band. Do I play this Jackal Pump? Kind of seems like overextending, right? But if they had a Sweeper, they probably would have played it here instead of the Glenelendra. They can still draw one, of course. Let's serve first. There's a chance they'd chump with Glenelendra and wouldn't if we played out the Jackal Pump. I think they're going to have a sweep. They, they definitely jump with Glenn right there, right? That was brutal.
Jackal Pup, you have betrayed me. It'll be a hard game to close, potentially. I took my second best creature. can only play spells to cost four or more. I'm sure that'll be relevant. <laughs> Fotsies. <laughs> That's a good way to go. Good way to go. Go 4 0. That's forcing mono red stuff's working out. Do you like the opponent's style? Me too. Me too. The stylish way to go. Sure. This is the sort of hand that makes Sulfuric Vortex look good, right? Just a pile of burn. God, I fucking love Zergo. I didn't love Zergo when it was in Standard or in other cubes, but in Legendary Cube, I learned to love Zergo. Nobody played shit until like turn four in that format. So if you just like turn one Zergoed into turn two, play the fucking, what was it, Tamale, the, the red black, two two, and just murder people before they even do anything. God, that was great. I think I was like the only one in the world that loved that format. Shit, what up? Hey, Skeeter Blood. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 21 months. Sneaking up on two years. Getting close. Getting close. So I was going to Vortex this turn. Now that we do Shrine, I think I do this. Into Kill Their Dork. Yeah, Timuray the Murder King. Is it Timuray or Timuret? How are you, how are you supposed to pronounce that? The ET on the end makes me want to say A, but. The hard team. Vortex doing a lot here. Timar Yeet. Yeah, perfect. Would Greek have a soft ET? How do I how do I know that it's Greek? I don't know that. For sure, Kelly. Because it's from Theros. Is Theros Greek? I thought I thought they uh, I thought that none of the uh, the planes were based on. Uh, I thought none of them were were based on Earth. I thought they were all like different uh, universes or whatever. Is that wrong? Man, this shrine might be too slow. It's all Greek to you. <laughs> it's not actual Greece. Oh, okay. So, so being a hard stickler about Greek pronunciations doesn't doesn't make that much sense. I think we can all agree. I'm gonna take two and go down to 12. And then Char plus Shrine is another nine, put him to three. It's a bummer. It's a real bummer. We're definitely dead here, right? Seven plus four is 11. Plus three is 14. We could Char the Tristani mid-combat and block a soldier and take 
Six, seven, eight, nine. Then we take two from the char, go to eleven. Or go to go to three, sorry. Do I have flashback bolt? Yeah, I don't think flashback bolt wins though, right? Like we flashback bolt, we kill what, Rafelos? And then we pass. And then they attack with everybody. Zergo can block Tristani and no other creatures. We would take eleven. I guess that's the same, huh? Shoot his face with Firebolt? Well, that would be dead on board. We definitely... Again, Bell Striker can only block Tristani. That is the only creature in play that it can block. It has an ability that says it can't block creatures with power 2 or greater. So this is the only one that it can block. I think we can do this. And live for a turn, though. And then I think Char might give us a drawn game. put the triggers on the stack so the vortex doesn't get us uh that's not lethal we need the vortex to hit them to put them down to 10. if we char plus shrine on our upkeep that's 10 damage to them so if we upkeep charred we would die we would not uh, we would not draw the game it would be worse than charring on their turn oh that'd be a way better card mr barstow that'd be way better Yeah, we're one damage off, because we could char right now and get another trigger on the shrine before the sulfuric vortex resolved. But that would only be 11 damage, then 12. Can we drop? We certainly can. Could they win by attacking with Tristani? Nope, Zergo can block Tristani. It was the same as not attacking with it. So the order doesn't really matter here. game it's a draw there's the pause there i was like oh i got a scope it's four damage no okay all right all right it's been a while since i've had a draw it's been a while since i had a draw on moto What does a draw do? Just makes it so that game basically doesn't count. We still have a best of three to play. Clasm? I don't think so. I think Clasm's a little good against my creatures, with the exception of uh, Swift Spear. Swords in response doesn't do anything. We did Sulfuric Vortex in play. Considering bringing in uh, Inferno here, might not be the matchup for Koth, too. Hey, Calfine. Thanks for the resub. Thanks for the 23 months. Still first to two ones. Yeah, a draw just means... A draw is just like the game never happened. It's it's really easy to think about. <laughs> you like the Caracas? They did show us a couple of legends, right? The Rafelos and the um, Jostani. 
both reasons to have Karakas in. I still don't think I'm going to bring in Needle Spires. I don't think I want to come to play Tapland. But that one's good. And I'm also thinking about Inferno Titan here, if that's a card that I want. Hmm. I'm going to leave it out. Our only acceleration is like Steamkin, Chandra, and Koth, maybe. But like, Jackalpup's really bad in this matchup. It's a reason to maybe. Yeah, let's just do that. Minus Jackalpup. Plus Siege Gang. Let's do the Seeding Song plan. Minus Eidolon. Minus Zergo. Or Bullman Courier on the draw. Let's get Courier on the draw. Yeah. Is, is the plateau for Legionnaire mana? <laughs> what? Yes. Yes, it is. The fetch isn't for plateau, though. The fetch is for uh, Grim Lava Mancer. Correct, Solias. That is the gist of it. I've been to stores where uh, they had gentlemen's agreements to, um, if both players mulliganed, to just go to seven. And that actually works. You're just like technically draw, uh, like choosing to draw the game. And then you're starting a new game over where you both draw seven. Anyway. I went to a whole F and M where that was just normal. I was like, okay, okay. So Koth into Chandra would normally be a pretty good line, but the Mox Pearl prevents that from happening because the Koth's just gonna prevent gonna produce three mana here. Another line is Koth sink the mana into figure. And then we'd attack them for for uh, seven this turn, which would be pretty good. But it would leave the Koth vulner vulnerable to Pilgrim. So I'm just gonna play Koth, make a make a four-four land and serve. I think that's totally acceptable. Pre-releases are casual. Yeah, like I said, this was at F and M. Also a relatively casual environment. And then the figure of destiny would just get blocked by Karyatid, so there's no reason to attack with it. draws are rare at us now and best of three is like easy for people to parse play the Chandra kill the dork it doesn't do quite enough damage for me this turn I don't think it's quite as good if they had a Fellows in play instead of a Avacyn's Pilgrim I'd be like yeah let's kill that but there might be better things to kill <laughs> I like that answer, can it win? <laughs> because that confuses people. Source, this chat. We 
Daredevil back that pulse. It'd be really good. Yeah, if we had the land off the top, Chandra, mana, activate figure is a 4-4. Four, four. And then we'd have mana for figure is a 6-6 six, six the turn after. Be pretty decent. Not sure if Porcelain Legionnaire is going to get to attack next turn. It seems like a thing that'd be like kind of nebulous, right? Based on their amount of mana. So I'm just going to dome them for two. Slick Judd's resub number of seven months. Lucky number seven. Woo! Thanks for the great content and happy Memorial Day, my man. Caleb D. Love. Hey, much love right back at ya. And to Calfight as well with the 23 months. Appreciate all you folks. Every goddamn one of you. If I pulse pre-combat, they do not have to chump the figure of destiny. Figure gets flying when it becomes a 6-6. Six -six. Currently a 2 2. That'll do. Bring in the thunder. Oh good, I saw the line, yeah, right? I, I was confused at first. I was like, do I cast this card? Chat's not yelling at me what to do. I don't know what, I don't know what to do here. Is this good? Oh, thanks Mazes then. No game three because of the draw? No, how, oh my God, that has to be a troll, right? That has to be a troll. I'm just not even gonna, just gonna. <sighs> nice match, god damn it. God damn it. Typical beard streamer, probably doesn't even play this game. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just here to show off my beard on cam. Get those hot. Subbery dues. What's the determining factor of seating song in a deck like this? Well, we um, if you look at our sideboard, 
we boarded out a lot of cards that just aren't good against like a pile of green stuff. Um, like Bullman Courier, for example, or Jackal Pub. And we brought in Inferno Titan and CG Ink Commander. And so when we did that, we also added Seeding Song to help make that a little smoother. One strip mine could be okay, but we're gonna need our lane jumps for this Koth, right? Might as well hang out for a sec. Oh, fuck that Karyatid man. Fuck that card right in the plant. What's up, Nick Fa? Beautiful spaghetti face. That'd be a good one to put on my tomb. Be done with that. Wow, okay. Char off the top. It's a fucking bummer, isn't it? I guess uh, PNLR can block the, the Brimaz value 1-1. One, one. And then we can maybe use two burn spells on it. Or... to another game are we changing the sideboard strategy because we'll be on the play I don't think so there's still a really good chance I just don't want um, that trash in my deck against this deck yeah I think we're using two removal spells on this brim as I think uh, I think Jackal Pup's gonna suck against this opponent, whether we're on the play of the draw. Well, Man Courier is the sort of card that, like, when you're on the when you're on the draw, it gets worse. So, like, it makes sense to board it out sometimes and leave it in sometimes. But I think in this matchup, it's not great. Token block didn't use one spell. Maybe I kind of like having this top there. Kind of like having the flyer. This is all bad for me. I need a mountain for that uh that pulse. Let's see. Getting we're dead. I don't uh, I don't agree with that. Awful to win the game? No, I think we're pretty far away from that. We are one man away from Daredevil flashback Maelstrom Pulse, which would certainly help this current situation. Lightning Bolt would be so good here. Eat a token, grow a runway, eat another token. play daredevil anyway just run out daredevil get a counter on the steamkin and then i won't be able to flashback maelstrom pulse but like i'll have a first striker in play that they can't really attack into the other option is just level up this figure of destiny but then i don't know when i'm playing daredevil because if i hit a land i'm not daredeviling back maelstrom pulse right getting counter on the steamkin is also like really juicy because then um uh, we're closer to inferno titan Back Thopter just in case here. Like, if they answer my Daredevil, uh, I want the Thopter to be able to chump the Thalia. I'm at 9 life. 
we're thinking about. Yes, a land off the top would mean Koth into Inferno Titan. It would be quite good. Could not cast Koth. Could not cast Koth with a Thalia in play and four lands in, 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 in play. That was not a line that was not available to us. I wish I'd strip mined, huh? soldiers and jump Thalia. Get two. Stabilizes really because that Brimans can still serve in. This is game three. This is game three, but if we lose this, there will be a game four. I don't think Siege Gang beats anything, right? Because we don't have the mana to sack anything or do anything interesting with it. It'd just be a bunch of 1-1s one that we'd have to jump with. Whereas at least Inferno Titan. That'll do. That will do. Yeah, this turn, now that I had the Infernal Titan in play, playing Siege Gang Commander would have been kind of exciting. Okay, I think I have lethal here. Yeah, that should be lethal. All right, to game four. like the idol on a little bit better on the play. Worth considering. Yeah, I really needed to char that game to get Brimaz out of the way early on. Now Desperate Ritual sucks. It is half the card ceiling song is. I'm not playing Bullman Courier in this matchup. I think it becomes nothing really fast. Play game one end in the jar draw char. I'm gonna play Eidolon and I'm going to cut question mark. Maybe Banefire. We just got Banefire here. Bring in the show and tell plan. 
Probably not. I think we're favored on the play. good news about this hand is that our curve technically goes up to six post board. I'm worried about them actually getting to untap with the Rafellos though. Oh, they mold to six. I think it's the opposite of the person who got to play the first game today, man. Oh, nice. Feels a little bit better. Firebolt makes it feel a little bit better. Sulfuric so Vortex for turn three would be real juicy. Sounds good too. Not Brimis, not Brimis, not Brimis. Vanishing Light. Oh, that's still pretty good. It's not a Brimis, but it is still pretty good. Answering the old shrine there. Chandra is dope here. Oh my god. Exiles of Bloodstained Mire. Love it. We're playing Halo because this looks like the Flood. Nice. You want to play your lane before you uptick Chandra? Because if I hit a 5 drop here, it wouldn't give me... The, it's not until end of turn. You have to make that decision right then. Are you casting it or not? Lava Mancer looking particularly bad here because it would stop me from killing a priest this turn and it would um, not be very fueled, right? We have an empty graveyard. You can't play lands from Chandra, anyways. Yeah, that's not really what I was talking about. I'm talking about like if I don't, if I hold my land and uptick Chandra and find a five drop. But you're right. Wow, do you uptick here? Or do you downtick on ooze? That's kind of tough. That's kind of tough, I think. I think we're upticking. They're at seven. I think we're upticking. How do you folks feel about Chomping Ooze? It's at seven. Chomp is at seven. I'm going to chomp. Nice old man. Hopefully, hopefully it was a good time. DMing is definitely a craft. Two one one victory. 
Nice. Nice little trophy there. Feels good to trophy every once in a while.